From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Hello and welcome to this edition of the Homeland Security Weekly Report. I'm David Jones. Chinese military officials have deployed a highly accurate laser defense system capable of shooting down small drones flying at a low altitude, Chinese state media reports. The technology is expected to be utilized to eliminate unidentified drones flying over urban areas that are feared to be controlled by terrorists or others conducting unauthorized surveillance activity. The laser defense system, which according to reports bears some similarity to Israel's Iron Dome, can destroy drones and other small aircraft flying within a 1.2 mile radius within 5 seconds of locating the target, according to the official Xinhao News Agency. Private industry experts say they believe hackers in Eastern Europe devised a malware and said it seems ready to blow up across computer networks. Pittsburgh-based FBI cyber agents who brought down an international Russian hacking syndicate in May are now focusing on two new targets that have caused significant damage. A team from Sweden was able to greatly improve the ability of operators to perform tasks with remotely piloted emergency robots by making the bots steer less like tanks and more like a first-person shooter video game, like Call of Duty. It's a small chain that could save lives in an environment where an emergency robot has a limited amount of time to perform a life-or-death task, such as finding a survivor in a collapsed building. Emergency response robots are really just small, remotely controlled tanks, so the default steering system, not surprisingly, is akin to video games of the dual analog control system era. The operator has to move the robot to face a particular direction before it can move in that direction. The US Department of Homeland Security is increasing security at federal buildings as a result of growing concern over lone wolf terrorist attacks, such as last week's shooting in Ottawa. Homeland Security Secretary Johnson on Tuesday said he had instructed the Federal Protective Service which protects federal buildings to enhance its presence and security at certain buildings in Washington and elsewhere. He called the move precautionary and cited continued public calls by terrorist organizations for attacks on the homeland and elsewhere, including against law enforcement and other government officials, as well as acts of violence targeted at government personnel and installations in Canada and elsewhere recently. The U.S. Army will provide Wi-Fi in West Africa for the fight against Ebola. The Defense Department has started to beef up systems needed to support troops and non-governmental organizations engaged in the Ebola fight in West Africa, including email, video and satellite systems. The Defense Information Systems Agency last week turned on a node of the Blue Force tracking system over West Africa, which transmits feeds from GPS receivers over satellites to a central node to pinpoint locations. This will enable real-time messaging and location status information for vehicles and individuals. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching this edition of the Homeland Security Weekly Report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for more information, just click the link below.